watching and staying with us. We're starting off with a 7 News alert this half hour. We are learning more about a drowning in an upstate lake. The Cherokee County Coroner's Office says it happened over the weekend. 7 News reporter Scarlett Liz Jack spoke with authorities and shares their warning for those heading out on the water. Over the weekend, the Cherokee County Coroner's Office responded to a drowning. They say it was their first so far this year. And with more people recreating in the area, they say it's important for people to take precautions. Lake Thickety is a popular spot for fishing. It's a beautiful lake, uh, very uh, uh, well used by the people, not only in Cherokee County, but surrounding counties. But this murky lake took a tragic turn when a man drowned while attempting to retrieve his boat drifting from shore around 2 o'clock Sunday morning. This is the first drowning this year. So, you know, we're, we're grateful that we haven't had more drownings, but we're disappointed that we even had one. Fowler says incidents like these boiled down to not taking precautions. In this situation, the, the victim responded. He acted on, let's get the boat. And he's fully clothed, and I'm talking about long pants and, and all of his clothing on except shoes. It's very dangerous to be out there like that. Uh, even in the daylight, this was in the middle of the night, very dark, so he's swimming in dark water. Fowler says if you find yourself in a situation like this, the best thing to do is to pick up the phone. The boat is something is tangible. You know, you can replace the boat even if it sinks, but there's help that can arrive and help you. That's why you have 911 to call for assistance. You got to be careful no matter where you are. If you're in the ocean, whether you're on a major lake or a river, you got to respect the water. And always come prepared. Precaution should always be that you have all of the flotation devices you're supposed to have on that boat that are required by law. I found no evidence that there were any flotation devices, safety devices on that boat. Did not see any life jackets either. Um, that's not to say that they weren't there and maybe floated away. The Cherokee County Coroner's Office says they are performing a routine autopsy sometime today and they expect to get the results in the coming days. In Gaffney, Scarlett Liz Jack, 7 News. The coroner who identified the man who died as 51-year-old Juan Wirch. He said he did not see any signs of foul play.